for me, the most important thing is the story that I'm telling, whether it's a scary set piece or a dramatic moment. It all comes down to the characters, and if you care about them, Man is very powerful, but what drives him comes from a very human place. His story resonated with me instantly. It's not accepted here, not really accepted here. Definitely can identify with that. I fell in love with the project and fell in love with Mira. She's no damsel in distress. She's a strong, badass, empowered superhero. With Aquaman, the trick and also part of the fun is designing a whole different world that we've never seen before. You're pretty much just limited by your own imagination. There's just a whole lot of magic on this project. Once they put all these things together behind James's vision, it blows my mind still. The appeal of it was to step into something else. You really are invigorated because of it. You get to experience all these amazing worlds. We haven't been under the ocean yet. This is our outer space. I keep going back to that inherent fascination that we have with the ocean. And if it turned on you. Just the sheer vastness and the mystery of it. There's still a lot we don't know. I've always known that I want to do an action movie. I get to be a big kid on the playground and cause trouble, blow things up. Your body is constantly working. You're doing judo, jiu-jitsu, fight choreography. After four and a half months of stunt training, six days a week, you feel pretty superhuman. I get to present Aquaman to the world in this really badass and cool way. We have never seen this on screen. And that's, that's the truth. You get to fall in love with the idea of what it's like to have these powers and be a kid. And that's fun for the family, it's fun for everyone. We want to create something interesting. We don't want the standard. James Wan can't do the standard. Any great superhero story should make you feel that you've learned something from these characters. And you yourself have the ability to do good. And you don't need a cape to be able to do that. My parents were from different worlds. And I was a product of a love that never should have been. He could unite our worlds one day. A son of the land and a son of the seas. Your mother always knew you were special. You are part of something deeper. You are the bridge between land and sea. Take your rightful place as king. We're getting close now. Oh yeah, close to what? Dying of thirst? There's no way Atlanteans were this far inland. Check this place out. This is badass! It's real. Nothing. Of course, it's not working. It's been sitting here collecting dust since before the Sahara was a desert. Before the Sahara was a desert. Oh, let's just say you do your best thinking when you're not thinking at all. All right, now hold still. Hey, what are you doing? We need water. You need the closest source. Show off.
I could have just peed on it. In this trident resides the power of Atlantis. If you seek my power, journey beyond the edge of the world to the hidden sea. In the wrong hands, it would bring destruction. But in the hands of the true heir, it would unite all our kingdoms above and below. Hey, wait! What? Shouldn't we have written it down first? I memorized it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, totally. What did you just say? Something, something, trident. The beast has awakened. The time has come for Atlantis to rise again. Unless you help us. I'm no leader. I'm not a king. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. Could be greater than a king. A hero.